Hey there, Lickin' Riffers, how are you doing? Welcome to another awesome full fingerstyle arrangement lesson right here on Lickin' Riff. And in this video, we're gonna learn a full fingerstyle arrangement of Erase and Rewind. It's an awesome song and it turned out to be an awesome arrangement. That's why I trust my word. I'll play it for you right now so you can see and hear how it goes. And then we're gonna break it down lick by lick with tabs right here on the screen as usual. It goes like this, enjoy. <laughs> So before we start, I just want to thank the private student who purchased this as a private arrangement and decided to donate it to the channel for everybody's enjoyment. So thank you very much, private student. So uh, as you can see, this is a pretty complex arrangement, but there's a trick to playing it. You have to, um, to automize the riff. By the riff, I mean this. second but you have to practice this until it's automatic because after every lyric line you have to play at least half of the riff okay so if you don't want to um, overburden yourself with data overload just practice the riff until you have it down on your fingers and then start learning the song so you can just insert the riff between the lyrics so that's the way I recommend learning it as well. So um, the intro is different than everything else because the riff is on the high notes instead of the bass notes. So you start with this. And then a G chord. So it's the open sixth string with two slide to four on the fourth. And then the open third and three on the second. Okay, this is just another inversion of E minor. So. Then a G chord, open strings, two, three, four, and three on the sixth string. You can do it with a finger, you can do it with the thumb. Okay, no need to move your hand. Okay, everything works. Then you have this. Okay, it's two, two hammer on to four, two on the third string. And with the hammer on, you play two on the fifth string. Okay, for a B bass. And then you do two hammer on to four two on the third string again. 
and you have to play A, the A string, the A bass. Okay, the fifth string. So you can play it after the hammer-on, okay, because that's kind of the right rhythm there, it's a syncopation, so you can do it with the bass or okay, a syncopation, up to you. And that's the intro. Then the second time around, uh, sorry, after the B line, you play A, an A octave, two on the third string and the open fifth string. So the first time around, A is this, the second time it's just this. And that's the intro. The idea here is E minor, okay? This is a G chord, but it's E minor over G, okay? Because the chords uh, of the song are E minor, B minor, A. And even though you do have the, okay, the G to D over F sharp to E minor line, it's just a line, it's just a lick. The chord progression of the song is mostly E minor, B minor, and A. So it's E minor, okay, it's still E minor, just E minor over G, and then, okay, just a B minor, but you're not playing the minor note, and then A, again and finish on A, an A octave. Then you have the mm -mm, okay, the, okay, so I play strings two and three with three and two on them, okay, kind of like a D5 chord, okay, three and two on strings two and three, and then I play, okay, strings one and six, then I pull off three to zero on the second string and I harmonize with the open third string. So it's... And then we start the riff. Now pay attention closely. Okay? This is how you start. It's... Okay? It's zero, two, three on the sixth string. I hammer on both. Okay? And then the D string. Then I put on B minor. Okay? And I play strings two to five. And then... Open A string. Now I can play it with the B minor chord or without it. Okay? Or you can hammer on the first bass. Okay? And then you do hammer on 0 to 2 on the fifth string, then A strings 2 to 5 as well. So it's. Okay? And you can play the B minor with everything. Okay? The idea here is. Zero hammer onto two zero, zero hammer onto two zero on the fifth string. So that's what you have to keep in mind. Okay, the riff. Okay, or okay, you can just insert the chord once. Okay, or just with the hammer ons. Up to you. It doesn't really matter where you put in the B minor chord as long as you keep the riff going. Okay, the bass riff. So just automize this. Okay? Just these notes. Okay? Because from now on, I'm going to refer to this as the riff. And I'm going to tell you where to put it. So <clears throat> we were playing this. play the riff again with two A strings at the end instead of the hammer-on zero to two part. But when I start okay, with the open sixth string, I play strings two and three along with it because right now we don't have lyrics yet. So I just play the chord and I let strings two and three ring. Okay? And then when I play the D string, they're still ringing. Okay? See? That's the beauty of finger style. And then, and then, just A at the end. So B minor, and then A. Instead of the hammer on and then A, you just play A. That's the second ending of the full intro. Okay? 
And then you do everything again, but instead of mm-mm, she sings mm-mm-mm. So you just play another 3-2 at the beginning. Okay, you just play it twice. Okay? And that's the full intro. So practice this before you move on to everything else. It will make your life so much easier when you learn the, uh, I said we and you together, uh, when Wu uh, learn the, or Yi, when Yi learn the, uh, the full song. So this is what you should practice first. Concentrate on the lyrics. Um, you can play E minor, just strings one, two, three, and six. Or I do this, okay? Just for embellishment, I play strings uh, two and three on three and two again with the open E string, and I slide these two fingers up two frets to five and four. So I get a unison there. Okay, the open E string with five on the B string is the same note. It's E, and then. The E string keeps ringing when I leave the notes and I take the fingers off to play the riff. Okay? And then I slap strum. Okay? And then okay? half the riff up to B minor. Okay? So up to B minor. The hammer ons, the D string, and then B minor. This is what you'll be playing most of the time. Okay? Half of the riff. And then you have this. Okay? It's B minor, and you play 2 0 0 on the E string. You can lift the bar, you can play the rest of the chord. And then A. Then 0 hammer on to 2 with your pinky or with your third finger, depending on which fingers you put. You can let go of the chord as well. And then A, hammer on from 0 to 2 on the E string. And then strings 2, 3, and 6 for E minor again. Then again, half the riff. Then you can either do A, strings 2, 3, and 4 together three times, or an arpeggio, strings 4, 3, 2, which is more. Um, more attuned to the original line, but it all depends how you look at it, because if you play, you still have these three notes just harmonized. So this or this still gives you the same result, just unharmonized or harmonized. So again, it's your choice. And then A, the E string twice, you can play the whole chord, and then I slide from 2 to 3 on the 2nd string, open E string, and then I play half the riff. Okay? And then the first line again. Okay, the first B minor A line, I mean. The 2 0 0 A, hammer on from 0 to 2 on the E string. Okay? And then I play strings 2 and 3, but I play 2 slide to 3 on the 6th string. Okay? Because this is the G, D over F sharp. E minor line. Okay, so it starts with this. So, and then the open D string, then F sharp, two on the sixth string. You can also play the open A string if you like. You can do, okay, but a little bit dirty in my opinion. And then the hammer on from zero to two on the fourth string, and then the E bass. Or, E5, okay? 2, 2, 0 on strings 4, 5, 6. Again, up to you. So, um, right? And that's your verse, and you play this twice. So, again, slide up to the B minor, okay? Then 2, 0, 0, A, hammer on to 2 on the E string. Then the low chord, or then A, slide from 2 to 3 on the 2nd string, E minor again, half the ref to B minor, then the 1st B minor A, okay. 
then the open second and third with G to F sharp to E minor. Right? Then you have the pre-chorus line, which is different than everything else. It's uh, E7, A, D. So it's this. So it's the open E string. You can also play the open G string, okay? And then seven, seven on strings one and three. You can play it with the sixth string, okay? You still have the E string ringing, okay? So you have the bass going on, but you can play it again. Then you play five and six on strings one and three with the fifth string, because this is an outline of an A chord. Then eight on the second string. Then you play the open first and second strings, and you can harmonize with six on the third string. So leave your finger on. Okay? This is A add nine. Simple uh, one finger chord, but it's still an embellished chord. So, and then you just continue the rhythm any way you like. So. Yeah, just play bass, bass, chord, bass, or bass, bass, chord, chord. Right? And then you have the open E string, giving you time to move back to D sus4. Okay, D with three on the E string twice. Then you play D with two pull off to zero on the E string. And then three on the second string. Okay, it's in the chord, so. Then you have this. Okay, it's a G to D over F sharp again, uh, but as a little bass solo there. Okay, an arpeggiated bass solo. D string, three on the G, uh, the G bass, the um, E bass string, and then open D, open A, and then F sharp, two on the sixth string. So, okay. So this is the pre-chorus. So again. Seven to A at nine. D sus four to uh, pull off to D sus two, and then immediately the bass solo. And then you have this, the beginning of the chorus. It's a slide to three on the second string, or you can just play three, but I slide from two. And it gives it a little embellishment. Then three, two on the E string, three on the B string, and then I start E minor again. Three on the second string, open third string, E bass, and then half the riff to B minor. And then I have three on the second string, three times, you can harmonize with the chord. Um, and then I do, okay, the A bass, Slide from two to three on the E string, and then two, and then three on the B string. And then it's E minor, strings one, two, three, and six, and then pull off from three to zero on the second string. And then half the riff again, okay, to B minor. And then you can play B minor over A, and then play the first line, okay, with the A bass on the three, on the E string, on the G note. So it's uh, something like this. You can play it with the slide, okay? But the, the right positioning of the bass note, if you want it on the first beat, it's on the three on the E string. But this is the riff, so you have the A bass anyway. See, it's on the beat, but you can play it with the slide, and then you have kind of a syncopation thing there. Uh, then you go uh, again. And then you have the full riff. Okay? The full riff. And then you have the... Okay, the G uh, to D over F sharp to E minor line. And then I play the verse again, the pre-chorus again, and the, uh, the chorus again. And then when I want to finish, I play this. Okay? The A line that brings you back to the beginning. Okay, I'll play everything again. When you 
play the chorus, you play the full riff now. But the second time around, when you want to finish the song, you play the B minor, the B minor to B minor over A, and then you have this. Right? The same A line that brings you back to the first E minor, but this time you play D. Or D over F sharp. Okay, with two on the sixth string. Okay, depending on your own uh, preference of a D chord. Um, so that's the ending. So again, practice the riff and then learn the lyrics when you have the riff down under your fingers. So before you go download the tab, the link is below in the description. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I don't see a reason why not. Everything here is for free, including the tab. But if you want to give something back anyway, you can become a patron on Patreon and pledge whatever you want to pledge. I am grateful for any donation and support whatsoever and everything goes right back to Lick and Riff to your guitar education. If you want to make a one-time donation, there's a yellow donation button on the Lick and Riff website when you go download the tab. Um, it's up to you. So I uh, thank you in advance for your generosity and I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye for now. Enjoy.